I like going with disruption down to the basics. Disruption only happens when the ecosystem is enabled, when the sector is well understood, when the development and the question we want to ask is defined. Only then is the right environment for data created. But what does that really mean? It means that we need to go back to basics, the collection of the data. You're all here knowing and understanding the value proposition that data brings in. And some of you have gone through the sternest headache of, an, of looking through data that is basically useless because it wasn't collected correctly. So the question that you need to address becomes very important in understanding where you want to head to and what data needs to be collected, how it needs to be stored, what technologies are required to bring it on board, the level of granularity that is needed and necessary to create transformative changes. But that alone then becomes the creation of an untapped commodity, which has no value. Then comes the next step of ensuring that you have the necessary analytics tools and the thought and process of creating the right analytics tools to create the necessary solutions. This goes to the fundamentals of the scientific method. The right questions, the right analysis, to get to the right solutions. I know we're not at disruption yet. <laughs> then comes the value of creating the right space and the enabling environment. I always refer to ecosystems as the new forms of partnerships. It's no longer bilateral partnerships, and it's no longer multilateral partnerships. It is now the invisible fabric of creation that is sometimes worded as ecosystem. But what does that really mean? Our traditional forms of partnerships that bring us together are not obsolete, but they don't create the necessary disruptions that we require. A primary sense of purpose and direction is what brings ecosystems together and brings thinkers and brings users and brings practitioners and brings the organizations that realize the potential and value of any sector together it no longer becomes a meeting of organizations in the public sector, if we're talking about the public sector, or a meeting of individuals of the private sector, if we're talking about the private sector, or our beloved public-private partnerships. It now becomes a meeting of minds. And as much as we love talking about artificial intelligence, technologies, machine learning, and the value proposition they bring along, honestly, without humans, creativity, nothing is driven forward. So it's those ecosystem and the mechanisms that are, that are brought together that harness truly the potential of that transformation. And when we talk about disruption today across your entire um, sessions, think of how you create and recreate this new disruptive ecosystem to be harnessed as the tool to transform what data really is into actual knowledge, viable transformative change and the great value of creation. Now those are simple steps towards getting the value out of data. But then comes the challenges that are realized out of every single opportunity that we create. Privacy. Privacy, data privacy, utilization of data and how you ensure that if it's individual's data, then people's data, and also organizations' data are kept secure? That's an open-ended question. Of course, we've addressed them through different policies, through different mechanisms. Here in the Emirates, we ensure that whatever policies are put into place and laws are put into place don't prohibit innovation, but create sort of a comfortable framework of development with some form of stipulation when it comes to security. But because the nature of the way we work in this transformative digital era is continuously evolving, continuously transforming. It means that the mechanisms that we put our legislations, policies, regulations, needs to, be, needs to move at a similar rate. And that we need to put, put the right policies and legislations, access, especially when it has to do with data security, with very little knowledge. After all, you're creating disruption which means you need to be okay that what goes in in black and white has a bit of unknown. Then comes the important factor of risk taking. Without risk taking, there's no real disruption. 
and you need to take risk taking across the board. I spoke about ecosystems, I spoke about the importance of collection of data, the legislations, all of them requires a risk taking mindset. Otherwise, it's just an incremental development and not really a disruptive change. And as we move forward, then becomes the very important element. Once you realize the power of data, that's when you get and harness intelligence, artificial intelligence, knowledge. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Because the primary factor is human, we always introduce to technology our unconscious bias. So the final element that is of great importance that we need to consciously think about and realize that we all have within us unconscious bias that we sometimes demonstrate, whether we like it or not personally in lines with our value system or not. And that will cascade into the design elements of our technologies. And we see that today, even with the much lauded chat GPT, it is a biased system. It does have constructs that have been put into it that are considered biased and not all inclusive. So my final thought for the day is inclusivity. Technology needs to be inclusive and realizing the potential of data needs to be inclusive. Having access to data needs to be inclusive. The, the processes that needs to go towards transformation needs to be inclusive. And if you want to address them instead of opening it broadly, let's look at the SDGs. At least the data and the, the anal analytics that are required towards meeting the SDGs, that is a global commitment, needs to be inclusive. From access, to utilization, to security, to the means and technologies and the know-how and the experiences that are required to use those data. Otherwise, whether we like it or not, we will leave more than half the world behind if we proceed in the same mechanisms and the same tools and the same utilizations that we bring forth in every other form of business. I would like to thank the team at the World Government Summit and the team at the Statistics Center for all the work that they bring to provide us with the necessary data to make decisions. Uh, and with this, I'd like to leave you with a final thought. How would you ensure that any disruption in data is inclusive. It ensures that we find the right value and pathways, and we reformulate what fabrics of new partnerships are through a value-driven ecosystem network. Thank you very much.